My question is, are you not picking up the phone for anyone? Or did you get caller ID just to avoid me? Or are you screening? Are you listening to me right now? Pick up the phone, Emma. This is your dad and you're hurting me a lot. Please pick up the phone. I was re-elected president of the teachers union this week. I know you think it's time I retired and let somebody young with new ideas step in, maybe a woman or somebody of color. But honey, nobody with any real vision or commitment came forward. And there was a lot of pressure on me to run again. So I caved and I did. Well, this is the kind of thing I usually like to talk to you about. See if you think I did the right thing. Emma, if you're there, please. Okay. Since this is the way it seems to be going, since this fucking machine is the only way to talk to you, let me tell you a few things you might not have thought of. When he first got involved in the spying, we're barely out of the depression. That meant 30% unemployment. It meant you don't walk past a garbage can without someone elbow deep in it. This is the landscape of my father's childhood and young adulthood. Now, who are the people speaking up on behalf of the destitute? The American Communist Party. Who is talking about racial equality 25 years before the civil rights movement? Same answer. Who is calling attention to the fact that Russians are dying by the millions fighting fascism so that American hands can stay clean? Same answer, Emma. So who is my dad's allegiance to? Is it to J. Edgar fucking Hoover? No, it's to his party. It's to the honest working class Russians who are dying so that he can be free. So that his kids and their kids, that's you, could be free. You want to condemn him from where you're sitting, kiddo? From your upper west side apartment? Fine. But he's my father and I want nothing to do with it. 